Hey, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing the rear brakes on the 4Runner. And I have those right here. Brand new drums. And the shoes as well. I also have these cylinders I'm going to be replacing. Wheel cylinders. I am going to rebuild the old ones. I do have the rebuild kits right here. And the reason I'm replacing these is because they're leaking really bad from the seals. So I just want to put everything new in there and start, start brand new. the springs out just make note of where everything goes before you start taking things apart if you want take some pictures but we're gonna take that spring off from there using a flat blade screwdriver and also this lever for the self-adjusting parking brake that spring right there and also you want to take your self-adjusting lever off right there as well. And then what we'll work on next is getting these out, these springs. There's a pin on the back. And what you want to do if you don't have the special tool is just get a pair of vice grips and basically clamp on to the cap, push it, push it in without the pin sliding out the back and turn it 90 degrees to pop that out. Okay, I got one brake shoe off and I just unhooked it from that spring down there. Once it was free, it was able to come out pretty easy. As you can see, I had a major axle seal leak. There's all that gunk in there. I'm gonna clean it up after I get everything out and make it nice. And now we're gonna take the other shoe out and then we'll swap over all our hardware to the new shoe. Okay, I got the other shoe out. Just uh, make sure you take pictures and keep track of how everything goes. This parking brake cable was hooked on to the bottom of that. Everything kind of just slid out, keeping orientation of the spring where it's cut out. There's a little cutout for it right here for the adjuster. So just make sure everything goes back exactly the way it came out. I got the old cylinder out and not really sure if you can see that, but the one of the bolts broke off. It's been broken for a long time. So it wasn't missing, it was just broken. So I'm glad I got some new cylinders. We may try to rebuild these and extract that broken bolt in there and buy a new bolt. I got the backing plate all cleaned up. All that grease is now gone. Pretty clean. It's not perfect, but way better than what it was. So these little witness marks right here and here and down below there, we're gonna put a little bit of uh, brake grease on that, on those portions. So when we install the new shoes, 
they'll have fresh brake grease prevent some noise so we'll do that in just a second there are two they call them horseshoe clips that need to come off the old brake shoe and these you just want to put two flat blade screwdrivers together and pry against one another and it will separate those clips they're one time use only so make sure you have new ones to put back on and then once they get separated enough they just come right off and you can pull the hardware off swap it to your new brake shoe I got the new cylinder put back in both bolts don't over tighten them because you will break them just like the old one was now we're going to lubricate all our points of contact and also I got the entire brake assembly switched over to the new shoe this was pretty simple just uh, the horseshoes I was telling you guys about separate them and make sure you have new ones uh, lubricate your self-adjusting pin take take it all the way off clean the threads grease them up with high temp grease I also got the spring on the back put back in and make sure you grease this as well any point of contact with the metal on metal you want to make sure that you have it greased up so now we're just going to put it all back together like that do the same thing to the other side so up here at the wheel cylinder one two three on the backing plate and then there's this one spot right here zoom in here it's one spot mm -hmm. right there so just uh, put a little bit of lubricant on that and we'll get everything back together got the other side in what you want to do is hook it on to the spring first and then just kind of work your way up to there into the wheel cylinder you got to hold it in place put your pin through the back hold the pin and the shoe we're going to put the cap on make sure the the little bump side is going to go out towards you. Get your spring, put your spring back on. Take the other cup and face the bump towards the axle part away from you. You have to take your vice grips or your special tool. Basically reverse what you did in the beginning and then once that happens you lock it in place just uh, reverse what you just did Got it on both sides, locked into place. Before you put the spring in, you want to make sure you grease this part of the self-adjusting parking brake. And then it's kind of tricky, but you kind of got to squeeze everything together, the cylinder and everything, and hook this spring to the shoe at the same time of lining this up. And once you got it lined up and hooked in, it looks like this. Before you put the drum on, you just wanna spray some brake cleaner on the inside. 
and get the protectant oil they use from making them so they don't rust. So just get it nice and clean with some brake cleaner and slide it over the brake shoes. And um, you will have to bleed your brakes because we did switch out the, the wheel cylinder, but we'll get that, no big deal, pretty easy. Before you put your drum on, you wanna make sure that these are adjusted properly. Now there's a process per Toyota to do this, but I don't have that tool. So basically what I'm gonna do is adjust the brake shoes out and put the drum over the brake shoes and continuously do that until they're barely touching. There's just a little bit of drag. And then the parking brake um, will actually do the rest of the job for me. Just keep pulling the parking brake until things start to get tightened up. You want to do it to seven to nine clicks and then they should be adjusted correctly. You don't want too much drag, but you also want them to hold in place as well. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this.